for. You know what it means. All right. Hmm. All right. So we are going to reference that x. And when we reference it, we are going to put it in the proper place where it belongs. And what we're going to do is we're going to compute the a. We're going to reference a from the tape in order to compute the description of a. And then we're going to print out a followed by b. All right. Well, how do we compute the description of something whose value is sitting over here? So like in a programming language, the description of a program is usually no more or less than putting that program into a string. The description of this program is just the program with brackets around it. So when I do this computation, q of, of b, I'm going to look on the tape. I'm going to put brackets around what I see on the tape. And that will be a description of this program. Now, if you're thinking, whoa, what's he talking about? You'll see in just two seconds. But maybe I should move on right here. Here, print. Here's where I'm actually going to do something. This part is this part is B. Whatever's going to be on this line is going to go back in there later. Okay, this is the second part. Here's what it does. It's going to print out A followed by B. Well, what's A here? Let me circle A with orange because it's hard to notice what it is. This is A. That's A. Okay. If I had A all by itself, all it would do is save a description of B on the tape. That's a procedure for A. Now I'm going to write B. What is B going to do? First thing it does is print out a description of A. How does it print out a description of A? It basically puts A in, in quotes. Now in Logo, there's a particular way to do this, especially there's some details here. You know, I want this to go to the next line. So these are minor details that depend on the language. But basically, if you do print, it'll shove a carriage return at the end of what you print. And if you do type, it won't put a carriage return at the end of what you do. So I'm going to do print to self. Okay, So that will print out the words to self and then do a carriage return. And then I'm going to type out the words make x. OK, so far? So you see what I'm doing now? I'm doing this part. I'm printing out A. What's the difference between print and type? Print puts a carriage return after it's done, and type doesn't. Right. A line feed, not a carriage return. Carriage return and line feed is what I really mean. 10 and 12, right? What if you just send out ASCII 11, be able to do both? <laughs> All right. No, it won't. <laughs> All right, where am I up to? I'm printing out A. So I printed out the first two lines of A. I'm just at the hard part. We also need the open brackets in there, right? Yep. For make X. No. Okay. <laughs> we now need to print this part out. Now, what is that part? That's the part that's called, what is it? It's a description of B, right? This whole thing with the brackets, including the brackets, is the description of B. With the brackets is a description of B. Inside it is just B itself. With the brackets around it is the description of B. I am now going to right here print out the description of B. Now, do you see here I print out A and then followed by B? In a language, it's a little different because B is kind of stuck in the middle of A. You see how A kind of wraps around B? So it's not like you do one and then the other. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit different than the Turing machine, which would be completely linear on the tape. Here, I'm printing out A. In the middle of printing out A, I have to print out B, and then I can finish printing out A. So right now, I go to this part. I have to print out the description of B. And this is how I do it. Uh, I, could really, I need to just use one long line here, but I'm out of space. So I'm just going to continue on the next line. In, in Logo, you just put like a backslash or something. 
So there I go. I'm continuing. <coughs> Print list quote dot x. This is a crucial piece right here. <coughs> I want a new color for that because it's so important. Green. What is that? What is dots x? Dots x is a thing that's stored inside this bracket. It is b itself. List quote dots x is a procedure just like scheme. It takes two things and it makes a list out of it. List doesn't take one thing, otherwise I could leave out this quote. The quote is like a dummy parameter. It's a minor detail. But list dummy parameter dots x turns the thing inside here into a list. So I read what's stored in here, and I turn it into a list. So this whole green thing is actually this whole thing, including the brackets. Now you're thinking, why didn't I just store it with the extra set of brackets? That would be this horrible infinite recursion. This is the trick. This is the trick where I don't get this horrible you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, back and forth, back and forth. This is where I go ahead and take the inside, and I put the brackets back around it, and now it's just what I want there. Now it is actually this whole piece with the open and closed brackets. All right, so I've printed that out. That means I've printed out the B. And now all I have to do is finish printing out the A. How do I do that? Well, I'm missing one little thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm making this all wrong. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. I take back the last two minutes of what I said. I'm not up to printing B yet. I'm still printing out A. This part is the end of printing out A. I'm sorry, I just said something completely wrong. I said everything right, but but I sure I confused you because I confused myself. I printed out to self, type make X, print. I need to print out this part. This is still part of A. So I needed to look at the thing that was stored there, put the brackets around it in order to finish what was A. It's true that the inside is B, that nothing wrong with what I said, but in printing out this part, which happens to be B, I was really finishing up the printing of A. Let me say that again. I hate to spend a long time on something and then fix it in two seconds and go on. I just lose all that time. I'm going to say it again from scratch. This part here is what we call B. It is printing out first A and then B. Here it starts printing out A, to self, make X. And now it's got to print out this part. What is this part? This part is whatever was stored in X with brackets around it. So now it's printed out all that stuff, exactly as it's supposed to be. But now, in order to finish up, it's supposed to go ahead and print out B. And B is stored directly in X. And that's what this is going to be. This line prints out this. X here, the dots X, is B. So this printing here prints this whole thing. This is a piece of A, the piece of A that sits here. It equals that. I should have made it green. So all this stuff here prints everything up to here. And this little part at the end prints everything inside here, which is this. It's so cool that it doesn't loop forever. It's just really cool. All right, so what goes in here in the purple? I still need to print N. Well, good. Thank you. I still have to finish printing A now. So I do print N. And now what goes in the purple? This. That's B. The purple I just surrounded is B. 